Hello YouTube and welcome to my channel, John Shepherd Fitness. This is obviously about my court day. Um, I'm now just outside court. It is like 10 a.m. and it's freezing cold, so obviously I can't film it. So I'll tell you the verdict when I come out. Well, as you can see, I'm still here. I don't know if you see me, it's freezing cold still, and it's dark, yes. It took that long for me to be in court. Because it was just too long for me. It's just that the court system, you, you just have to be there at 10 o'clock, and then you just have to wait all day. I was the last person I had to wait and see like about six or seven people go in, out, in, out. And I was there before them. Oh, oh well. Anyway, let's tell you what happened. Basically, I got a three year ban. But I can take a course which will knock off eight months. So that's not too bad. So I'm gonna be driving in a in about two and a half years time. Um, bloody, woo, windy. Um, I also got a, I also got a, a like course to go on, which is 15 weeks. It's once a week. And it, it just basically tells you about drinking and driving, um, about how to avoid getting in the car if you've been drinking, um, sort of thing. So that's not too bad. Um, I didn't get um, community service or unpaid work, which is a bonus because I, that is one thing I didn't really want to do. Um, obviously, I didn't go to prison, which is the best thing ever. Um, I got a fine but it was only like 360 pounds and that was just because of court costs because obviously I've only got one job now and um, I get so much money but obviously I pay out so much money as well. So in all fairness, it's not a bad day. Obviously I've lost my car. I've just got off the bus. I hate buses, they're so slow. They smell, they got weird people on there. It's like the Jeremy Kyle bus. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna cope going on buses. I'll just have to go on taxis. Um, but in all fairness, it was okay. So I'm now walking back to my house. Um, I thought I'd just tell the people who are actually bothered or interested to see what happens. Um, this is also a good insight of what will happen if you drink and drive? You will lose your car. Well, unless you unless you keep it for the, so many years, you will lose your license. Um, and it all depends on how much you drink and, of course, what you've done. Um, you could get community service. You could go to prison. You could do a rehabilitation course. You're going to get fined. So basically, do not drink and drive. That's what I'm trying to say to you. Leave your car at home. Do not go out and then think you can have one or two because when you have one or two, you need to have three or four and then you want to drink and drive. Um, also, do not go out drinking all night and then get in your car the morning after thinking it's okay. You will be over the limit. You, if you get pulled over, you will lose your license because it will still be in the system. Always make sure you go, if you're gonna stop drive the day, day after, if you're gonna drive the day after, make sure it's in the late afternoon because then it will be out your system and you'll be safe to drive. Depending on obviously how much you've drank the night before. People, I'm still here to annoy all of you and show you fitness workouts. Obviously I've left my gym now because I cannot get to it. I'm going to be joining a new gym at the end of next month. So for the next 
month or so, I'm going to be like going to pay to go gyms. So I'm going to try and get as much workout material if I can out of them gyms. Um, but I also was, I'm going to do a quite a lot of vlogging in the next month of, of like other things. But like I said, do not drink and drive. It's not worth it. And also thank you again for everybody who gave me support and thank you Ben Miller the only person who actually messaged me to say how how's court well how's it going how's the court anyway I'm now gonna go and watch Liverpool play PSG they need to win because if they don't oh we could be out so I will see you next time and be safe <laughs>